Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. Valleybond primarily focuses on leveraging open source platforms such as Drupal, a popular content management system. Valleybond helps employees to work collaboratively to deliver cutting edge solutions that align with business goals. In addition to Drupal, Valleybond offers services in other open source technologies like React, Angular, Node.js. I am the speaker Kusum Srilahari, working as software development engineer at Valleybond. Today's webinar will focus on storing files in Amazon S3 and accessing them from Node.js. We explore the existing world of file storage and retrieval using two powerful technologies, Amazon S3 and Node.js. Throughout this webinar, we will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up an S3 bucket, configuring AWS credentials and leveraging the AWS SDK to seamlessly store and access files from your Node.js applications. Before we deep dive into the technical skills, feel free to ask questions under comment section. Let's continue with our code base. This is our Node.js project. I have installed the dependencies such as Express we have used here. And this project is working on port number 4000 and I have created the sample get API. So let's check with this API. Node index.js, the server got running. And we can check in browser with port number 4000. Yeah, we got the welcome message. For now, we need to use AWS services in our Node.js project. AWS SDK package provides a set of tools and libraries to interact with AWS services. So, we need to install that package. That is npm install. AWS SDK. And also to use our AWS S3, we need to configure our AWS credentials into our Node.js project. So for that, we need to create an IAM user. It might take some time due to some internet connectivity issues. Yeah, it was started. Meanwhile, we can check our access keys. So, entering into the IAM dashboard and here the dashboard, I was creating a user to create access key for them. So, adding a new user with the name test. Yeah, next. We need to attach policies for a IAM user. So I was attaching directly. We need as for now S3 access. So I was giving S3 full access. So next we can confirm the details. The username is test and the permissions we have added and the creating a user. The user got created and clicking on the test user enter into security credentials. We will creating an access key for that user. We need to use this AWS outside. So next, uh, some random tag. Yeah, create access key. So this access key and the secret access key are very important to store securely. So we are not entering these details into our project. I was storing them in .env file. Here we have our .env file and this is secret access key. I will store. Now we need to import our .env file and the package which we are installed. I was, uh, it got stuck. Okay. Is this installed? Yeah it install but it was showing some processing tab i'll create a new tab here no index.js yeah the server is running now we need to import our env file we have the credentials and also we need to use that package so for that 
we have imported the .env and are using our package with AWS variable. Now, in all the services, we are using S3. So, we need to use AWS.S3 class by providing the access key and the secret access key details. So, if we want to update any of these details, we can use config.update syntax. Right? Now, we have entered into our exact things. That is, creating a bucket and storing files in our AWS. Right? So, in our webinar, we are using the bucket name is new webinar ABC123. First of all, I need to check what are the buckets which are present in my S3 bucket. Right. Yeah, I was refreshing this S3. Earlier we have 12 buckets. So we can view the list of buckets in Node.js project itself. So I have written an API using the list buckets function. Right. So we can check this API. Uh, that is in Postman list buckets. I was sending. See, we can check our buckets list. Yeah. Now we are entering into creating a bucket. So see here, I was passing the bucket params in this create bucket function the bucket params which has the bucket name bucket name is nothing but we have already declared new webinar abc123 so i will create this bucket using post api okay i'm sending the bucket got created and can check here I will refresh that is new webinar yeah we got it and the earlier it has 12 buckets now the bucket is added right one more thing we can do for the newly created bucket there are empty objects in it we can check this through our node.js yeah again I was using list objects function passing the bucket params which has bucket name. So using this all objects API. See this all objects sending. See the contents array is empty because there are no objects in it. Now we are adding a file into our S3 bucket which is newly created just now. For this we need to install packages the FS and the path. So the file I was uploading into S3 is contains this text. This is text file. So these two packages are required and the file name is text.txt. The params we are sending this the bucket name and key body refers. We are using the fs package to read the content in that file and storing it in body. And we are sending the path of that file to key. So we have in upload params the bucket name, the content and the path itself. So using put object function passing the upload params i was uploading the file into our s3 so using this api upload file api send the file uploaded we can check in s3 refresh we got this file here right later not only sending our file to S3, we can get our files content as well using get file API and here we have used the get object function. We are passing the get file params which has our bucket name and the file name. Right. So using this API, we can check our files content. The get file API send. 
Hooray, we got our data. One more thing we can do it. If we want to check this file's content directly through S3, it might be possible or may not. Let's check. See, it is showing access denied. We need to configure some policies to this bucket. Yeah, permissions tab. Here let's go. We are blocking all the public access. So unsure and save changes. Confirm. We need to attach a bucket policy using a policy generator. We need S3 bucket policy and the principle is star. The actions we required is get object. Yeah, get object and put object. This one. So we have selected two actions. And the ARN we can see in our S3. The S3 slash and star. Add statement. Generate policy. So this is the policy I was copying and adding here. Yeah. We can save the changes. So the bucket policy got added here and we can check to the same URL. Yeah, we are able to download the file. We got the content, right? But by giving these permissions, everyone with this can access. So it may not be secure. I was removing the policy for now. So what is the case then? We need to generate a URL for a particular object. We can send that for anyone. So they only can access that file using that URL. Let's check how to create a URL for a particular object. Here it is. We are sending the bucket name and the file name and then some expression time okay using this we have used the get sign url function and we are giving the permission to get object means to see the object and we are passing the params which has our bucket name file name and the expression time so using this we will get the data so let's check with this API. This is the one. Get sign URL API. So let's check in Postman. Yeah. Send. We got a URL here. Sign request. I was selecting that. Copy. And checking in browser. See, the file got downloaded. We can confirm here that with this link only a person can access our files. So this is the secure manner here. Before the object URL won't work now. Okay, I was checking this file. Yes, we got the file. So this URL we generated to just look into that object. If we want to edit, then put object place here. Again, we are using the get sign URL function. In that, we are giving put object permission. Passing the bucket name, file name and expression time. So using this put sign URL, we will get a request. See the sign request we got. So, using this copy and I create a one which is we need to edit that file. So, 
adding some text to the body new text added right sending so we didn't get any errors so now using this sign url refresh okay it was removed no problem we can generate a new one again creating a get sign url using this yeah the text got added so creating this to get object put object urls we can send our files securely as for the editing purpose or for the viewing purpose now the final step we have reached this is the delete file without entering into our s3 we can delete our file from node.js itself using this delete object function and sending the bucket name and the file name so using this api the delete file i'm sending the file got deleted we can check all objects as well uh, send it's empty we can check in s3 as well objects refresh empty now one more thing we can delete this object also Here we have used the delete object function and passing the bucket name. So using this API, send bucket got deleted. We can check in buckets. Earlier it is thirteen while refreshing, it is twelve. We can check with the name as well. New webinar there is no match. So, we have learned how to list all the buckets, creating a bucket, viewing all the objects in one bucket and also uploading a file, getting that file, sharing those files in a secure manner and also creating a policy for a bucket, finally deleting the file and deleting the object. Thank you all for joining us today for our webinar. We hope you found this session insightful and that it has provided you with valuable knowledge and practical skills to enhance your file storage systems. Once again, thank you.